have some of the largest nukes in the world. These guys are very easy to keep, and they are called Spanish ribbed nukes. So let me go ahead and get one or two of these guys out of here. So here's a little male. He's about seven inches or so in length here, total um, body length, probably about three. You can see that this is a male because of the swelling in the cloaca, as well as very buff arms. And the daddy's like, yeah, I'm ready to hug some ladies. <laughs> so that's a male. And of course, we also have females. So again. About seven and a half or so inches in length here. And as you can see, arms are not as buff, but look at how plump she is. This is winter time right now, and they should be ready to breed in the spring. I think these will be about three years old. I haven't got eggs from them yet, but we're always hoping. So these are probably one of the easiest nudes to keep. They are entirely aquatic, so they don't need to come out on land. They prefer to stay in the water. They're also quite tolerant of warm temperatures because they're from Spain and Portugal. But they can also take quite cold temperatures as well. It's winter time and I actually keep these guys outdoors. So we can take a quick look at their setup here. And I think the air temperature right now is like about 50 degrees. Nighttime gets much colder, so I don't know what the water temperature in here is, but it's got to be probably around 50 to 40. You know, it's, it's kind of painful, like burns to put your hands in that. So here's the bucket full of newts. I don't think this is all of them, but you can just see. Oh, look at all these guys. So here's a nice big honking male. Check this dude out. And of course, we've got lots of bonnie ladies here. So there you go. Alright, them Spanish rib newts. So they call these guys Spanish rib newts because you can see the little warts on the sides are actually the tips of the ribs buried under the skin. And so if they're attacked by a predator, or if you squeeze them too hard, the tips of the ribs will actually pop out through the skin. And on the way out, they'll pierce poison sacs. And so this is quite an effective defense from predators. If a predator were to try to eat one of these, then it would get a quite prickly surprise. And it would probably burn as well. So that's a female, we get a male. You can probably see that pretty well here. And granted, they're so cold that they don't really seem to be responding. <laughs> Look at these. Woo! So again, you can see the orange rib tips on this male. And under those are the ribs.